Welcome to the final days. Today is January 14th, 2022. Today we are going to see some really exciting footage of some enormous planets, eclipses, and different ways that these are being hidden. The FAA image you are viewing now in the thumbnail came from the Yukon River Bridge, Alaska camera. This object has to be very close to the Earth in order to see surface details like this. The gravitational force of large planets in close proximity to this Earth has caused the heating up and expansion of Earth's molten core, which in turn has caused an increase in volcanic activity worldwide and also tectonic plate shifting, resulting in worldwide earthquakes. These images were captured by the east-facing FAA weather camera at Kiana, Alaska. As the light source in the sky passes close to one of the many sky lenses, it illuminates part of the sky lens. This is one way we know this cannot be a lens flare of the sun. A lens flare of the sun can never become partially illuminated by the sun. These same images with contrast applied show the telltale edge rim of the sky lens. That's how we know this is a sky lens. These sky lenses are absolutely enormous and are in place to bend light and skew the viewing of the foreign solar system that has now intermingled with our own solar system. I'll replay these images with contrast because a small planet is actually passing behind this sky lens as we look at this. In a couple of the contrasted frames, you can actually see this planet behind the lens because the edge of the lens seems to lay over top of the image of the planet making it obvious that this is a transparent lens with an edge. I just wanted to point this out because this is something that I rarely see in these images. So getting to see a planet pass behind one of these sky lenses is a rare occurrence. The jet that you see uh, that's marked with an arrow in these images is not a normal jet. I call it a jet, but it's actually something that works with the manufactured light in order to hide these eclipses. So the jet is a piece of equipment out there. Here are some older images from Red Dog, Alaska, showing really good detail of these sky lenses. As you can see on the close-up image, there is always a characteristic edge rim on these lenses that isn't seen on any other celestial objects in these FAA weather cameras. This footage from the southeast facing camera in Yukon River Bridge, Alaska starts out with a reflection of the bell-shaped projector that is always present during these daily multiple eclipses. Our sun is being eclipsed by a gigantic planet. Be thankful that you are not seeing this planet behind our real sun 93 million miles away. Something appearing this large behind our real sun would have to be the size of our entire solar system. The reason it looks as if this planet is behind our sun is because the light passing in front of this planet is a manufactured light, which has been shown many times in previous videos most recently, just two and a half weeks ago on the December 27th video. The bell-shaped projector is always aimed in the direction of the sun, projecting a circular glare in that direction to completely hide these eclipses. The camera at Grave Point, Alaska also shows the bell-shaped projector. 
Now, remember that we are seeing a reflection of the projector. The actual projector is too far away to be picked up by these FAA cameras or by the naked eye. As the manufactured light passes over the eclipsing planet, the manufactured light in these images expands dramatically to engulf the planet in glare to hide it from view. Here's a better example of, of what we just saw. This older footage from the Joint Military Base near Anchorage, Alaska shows how the manufactured light engulfs celestial objects in glare to prevent viewing them. Just before the sun sets, two large celestial objects are visible in the bottom right corner of the screen. These objects have been blurred by technology. They're very blurry. As the manufactured light moves toward these objects, it completely engulfs them in glare, causing the sun to appear very distorted. Something you may not have seen in the first few frames of this footage is a huge, I mean this is a massive asteroid, and it's tumbling through space. It passes behind the manufactured light every single afternoon on the Joint Military Base camera. But after I started showing this asteroid two years ago, the atmospheric chemicals in this part of the sky became extremely heavy, and this object is no longer viewable because of that. Last time I did a time comparison, this asteroid was dropping in altitude, but I haven't been able to do another comparison because of the very heavy atmospheric chemicals blocking the view of this asteroid. The southeast facing camera in Cake, Alaska shows a very interesting reflection in the water. This reflection is obviously not the real sun, but instead is coming from the manufactured light. The reflection in the water shows a very interesting shape that we know is not the shape of our sun. The south-facing camera in Isabel Pass, Alaska captured a massive planet eclipsing the sun. In this footage, the reflection of the bell-shaped projector comes in from the right side of the screen. Throughout the entire footage, the projector is always aimed in the direction of the sun, projecting a circular glare to hide the eclipse of this massive planet. The eclipsing planet is very difficult to see through the heavy atmospheric chemicals. Even with contrast, it's difficult to see. And if you're watching this on a small screen such as a phone, it's even more difficult to see. And as always, the manufactured light passes in front of the eclipsing planet while the real sun goes behind, completely hiding these daily multiple eclipses. We know that this cannot be a lens flare of the sun because in the very last frame this planet becomes lost behind the clouds. A lens flare can never go behind clouds or other structures in a picture or a video. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. In Revelation 13, the beast is likely a complex cultural system including technology and AI. 
The image of the beast would then be a small representation of the beast, such as a handheld device or an implanted chip or something similar. Now think about this. Could you live a week without your phone, TV, videos, and technology? Or would it be easier to live a week without God? If it's easier for you to live without God than without your phone, TV, and technology, your soul is in danger. You must change your priorities and make Jesus Christ the center of your life. The majority of people are living under this same danger, and the world is going to be cleansed of its sin and iniquity. Part of God's soon coming wrath upon this world will be the destruction brought on by the approach of the celestial system you have been viewing in these FAA images. We are already seeing a dramatic increase in wild and extreme weather, floods, earthquakes, and volcanic activity. In Luke chapter 21 verse 36, Jesus says, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass.